Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on tree stand hunting. This video is actually suggested by a subscriber, so if there's anything that you want to see, put it down in the comments below. Uh, I've been bouncing some ideas in my head for the last couple days on how to put this video out, but each hunt was about 20 to 30 minutes long. It's definitely a lot slower than spot and stock. Uh, so I really couldn't get out all the information I wanted to so I've got a couple clips that I'll show you one of me actually killing the deer that's hanging on the wall beside me and one of me hunting a moose in a watering hole and then I have a bonus clip that I'll put at the end of this video that will help you on herd management so make sure you watch that one and guys uh, you know do all the good stuff you know man like subscribe uh, hit that notification bell you know all that stuff you that every youtuber tells you to do uh, yeah just go do that so I'm gonna quit talking let's get into these tips and tricks and hopefully you have better hunts Go down, go down right there. Go down right there. Come on. Come on. Go down. Oh, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> now that is what I'm talking about. And that guy's is hunting from a tree stand. I think that's pretty good blood there. Come on, buddy. Go down. Go down. These, these moose are definitely tough. Tough, tough, tough animals. Uh, now, he just bedded down. Alright, guys. I'm just going to dive straight into this. Uh, every bit of my strategies that I use to picking out of my stand is on this screen uh, everything you need to know to have a successful hunt and I mean whether that's spot and stock or whether this is tree stand hunting is on this screen so the more you get out and scout you know the more uh, feed zones watering zones and resting zones that you'll find and then and especially in each particular herd so every one of these these are all just mule deer these are all separate herds so with that being said, if I want to hunt this tree stand right here, and I want to hunt this herd, uh, to hunt this drink zone would be pretty hard because they don't drink till 9 o'clock. They're eating at 5 o'clock. They do that before they go drink. So if I wanted to get to this stand, I'm probably going to spook these deer out uh, while they're eating. And once you spook them, they're gone. So I would really want to just hunt this herd from this stand uh, while they're eating uh, so that I want to catch them coming from their resting zone to their eating zone and I want to get down there early so I want to sleep till like 3 and then I want to try to get in the stand by 4 o'clock 4.30 at the latest you don't want to be in there you don't want them already be in this field unless you're just that good at sneaking around and, and you might be so uh, that's like my first strategy I want to look at. I want to know what my animals are doing at all points. And then my second strategy is, is my wind. If my wind is blowing in a zone, from my experience trying to do these stand hunts, if the wind's going in their zone, they're not coming in. So I want to pay attention to my wind while I'm trying to pick a stand out. And I like to use this little, this little chart right here beside me. It tells me what time it is and what the wind's doing. Uh, up to six hours so I want to I want to pay attention to that make sure that the winds not blowing in the zone that I'm wanting to hunt and uh, my, my third strategy and this is definitely the most the, the hardest and the most annoying one of them all is be patient you're gonna be sitting there for a while because that five o'clock is not it's not clockwork 
them deer are not going to be walking in at 5 o'clock. I've had some actually walk in at 5, and then I've had some walk in at 5.30, 5.40, closer to 6 o'clock. So you just got to be patient. And these, these animals will, they're not going to run in at the same time. They're going to kind of trickle in. And so, you know, don't get trigger happy and shoot the first little one-star buck unless you're just doing herd management. Don't shoot the first little one-star buck that runs out because once you spook them, they're gone. So you want to let them all kind of funnel in, get into their zone, get feeling, you know, pretty at ease, and then, you know, pick which animal you want to hunt uh, that you want to take out of that herd. So, uh, guys, I got another video that I'm going to put in after this. I'm hunting from a tree stand. I'm actually hunting from this stand right here. And I just kind of noticed something. And maybe you've already know this little thing, but it'll help you on herd management if you don't know it. So I think it was really a really a cool thing. It wasn't no giant or nothing. So uh, yeah, just watch that video, guys. And I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Go do all the good stuff, man. Subscribe, like, comment. If you want to see something, you want to see me hunt a specific animal, uh, you want to see me do something kind of cool whatever put it in the comments below and i'll be live streaming tonight at 9 30 on on here on youtube so if you guys want to just come in man chat hang out that'd be greatly appreciated uh i've actually found a couple five star mailers i'm probably going to go after and uh i'll take you to some really cool some of my little hot spots i have and uh so until the next one guys good hunting get after it and only shoot the big ones all right, I'm sitting here in a stand, and right there is a bedding or resting zone. And I was kind of scouting around it, and I got a couple of little matures, and there's an adult one star, adult two. They is a, uh, they's a, they's a mature two star in there someplace. But what I was wanting to show you, this is a, just a little extra that that adult uh one star it's hard to tell from here but he has a weird rack uh he's got one size a lot smaller than the other so we're gonna go ahead and take him out we're gonna get them genetics out of here and uh look like good blood to me we're gonna go ahead and get that get them genetics out so uh, I was going to kind of wait and hunt that stand a little bit uh, to see if there's anything else that was going to be popping up or coming out into the open, but I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the herd, so that's uh, a little extra. I'll show you when I get to him what he, what he looks like up close. Alright guys, there he is. Uh... I don't know if you'd be able to tell he's got his head down. I can't tell right here, but uh, let's go ahead and claim him. Uh, you see how kind of off them antlers look. Uh, got an overview, he's only got 17% genetics. So if you can notice stuff like that, uh, let me go ahead and take them out of the herd because you don't want them to reproduce and produce a lot of these. Uh, so it's just another tip inside of this video <laughs> on stand hunting